Watch yeah. the movie yesterday. Well done, man. It is incredible. I uh, just want to say seriously, well done on that. Thank you. Um, I got to ask when you, um, you know, when you got the the final confirmation that you're going to be directing a Marvel movie, there was the little boy in you, you know, that everybody guy, or every guy still has. Was it, was it like a little air punch there? Like, yes, I'm directing a Marvel movie. Yeah, I mean, I I in particular did not have a a character that I could really identify with when I was a kid, and so to be able to be a part of telling the story of this character to introduce to a new generation of, of kids is very exciting. Yeah, I think it, it really is. Um, when you when you shot the movie, I, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm not personally a director, so I don't know if, if this is a real thing, but as a director, is there one scene in particular that, you know, you like, damn, when it, when it wrapped, you're like, that's the scene that I really want people to check out. Was there one scene in particular that you just went, oh yeah, we nailed that. I mean, there the the one of the early scenes that we um, shot, and and we also had a a uh, a cut a early cut of was the bus fight sequence, and yeah. I think it it really energized everybody on set because we saw what what this choreo could be once it was all cut together, how much fun it was going to feel. Um, we were we were seeing a clear narrative story happening with within the context of the fight and it it really energized us that we were we were going to be making a movie that that was different in a lot of ways Destin left me energized and this is what I actually wanted to what I wanted to ask is how do you find the balance or how did you find the balance between a what I took out of it a martial arts movie and a Marvel movie you found me personally I think you found that perfect balance how did you find that balance um it it's something that you're you're constantly toying with along the way, but I, I think Marvel does combine the superhero genre with other genres pretty pretty well with a lot of their movies. Um, and yeah. that was the intention of this one from the beginning. We we wanted to make sure that we started in a place with our character with Shang Chi, um, feeling very much like a, a classic martial arts movie and give a lot of nods to the movies that came before us. But we also knew that in our third act, we wanted Shang-Chi to reach the the level of, of all the other superheroes that we yeah. have grown to love in the MCU. So we we wanted to go for it and 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 see the the spectacle and and the um all the things that we love about Marvel movies coming kind of blasting in in our third act. Well, I just want to say thank you and well done. It made it almost seem, you know, I'm a big fan of Marvel movies. You hit the nail on the head where it made it almost seem like it is possible for an average guy that's a valet to be able to become a superhero. So well done, mate. You, uh, you hit the nail on the head. Thanks for taking the time to chat to me. Thank you so much. 947 Drive with Tandor. Monday to Friday, 3 to 7 p.m.